Hey, David Weck here. I'm at CrossFit 619. Today I'm going to teach you an exercise we call the figure eights. This exercise will help you transfer your weight from right to left with balance and strength and power through the hips, create mobility through the chest, the thoracic cavity, and the shoulders, and tie in hand to feet. Whole body strength, balance, and power. So the exercise looks like this. Plant straight ahead, and I make these figure eight movements. Boom, boom, boom. Really forces you to brace your breath, and you'll feel the muscles in between your ribs. They're gonna stretch and they're gonna strengthen. So here's how we break this exercise down. We use that in combination with the different footwork to learn it. So instead of facing straight ahead, I'm gonna face to the side. I'm gonna bring the club to my side so it's where it will be if I were facing straight ahead. And I'm just gonna lift it up, make a circle. So it's coming down as it's on this backside and I just come back up to that center and I chamber that. Now, switch the feet. Bring it up and back and down, circle, chamber. Switch it. Just get comfortable, boom, with that pattern. It's like this infinity that's wrapping around your body on both sides. So when I get it to square it up, I just put that together. I come here, I can boom, park it, and you just want to groove boom, that pattern, boom, right there. And now, once I have the pattern, now I put speed into it, and the club's going to be silent. You're going to make no sound with the club because it's a centrifugal force pulling the weight out to the top of the head. So here it is. There, 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 there. Boom, boom. And you will feel, you'll feel your weight shift. You'll feel even the gluteal activation. You want to really tie in your power to the center. And here's where it's really cool. We're going to use this spiraling technique with the club where I'm going to combine rotation with that figure eight. And that's going to make this move super fluid. And it will help you groove better with the sports where you're holding a racket, a bat, a lacrosse stick, or whatever it is. The more coordination you have here, the better you'll be at that. So what I'm going to do is when I bring the club over here, I'm going to rotate the club. So I'm rotating, and it's almost it's almost like I'm winding up the body here to really pull it up, and then I rotate the other way, and I rotate the other way. So you can almost think of it as let the thumbs be the tail. So when you're doing that figure eight, you just turn it so that the thumbs are leading, or the thumbs are behind, and the knuckles are what's leading the movement. You're gonna find that that grooves the pattern really clean so that we have this, this, this really spiraling action that's smooth, and smooth is how we move really fast. Now, we have to do both sides, and it's going to feel different. So, you're gonna tack it back and forth between the sides. You can break it down into the simple steps if necessary, maybe for the non-dominant side, and then go nice and slow. So it's like, okay, I bring it up and there, park it up and there, and I'm gonna use that same rotational capacity where the thumbs are gonna come behind and that centrifugal force, boom, boom, boom. You don't wanna hit your leg, it's soft, so it's not necessarily catastrophic if you do hit the leg, but you wanna go slow enough before you up the speed. We always need to maintain club control so that we don't injure ourselves or anything else or anyone else or break anything. So that's the patterning. Now what you can do as well with this, once you get that groove with the two hands, now you can start to do it with one hand as well. And you can keep that center. You have to make sure you're not sweaty. Don't release the club. You gotta go slow enough, you got it. Do not release it. But using that single hand now, boom, 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 boom. Come up and learn how to do it on that other side, that non-dominant side and you'll feel the difference. The two hands together is gonna to groove it and teach it to you and create that great mobility through the shoulder. If you wanna throw a jab, that pronation is gonna create the, the distance. This will help expand and give you a better jab and just better shoulder health. You'll be able to follow through on a throw better too. And like I said from the beginning, the breath control, the expanded breathing, that'll have health benefits and performance benefits. So, if you like the clip, Follow us, 
like us, ask questions, we'll answer them. I will see you next time. Thanks for coming in and watching.